So how does he uh, take away your peace, uh, give you peace there when you're upset? Sorry? How does, uh, you says there that you have peace? It says uh, through what, reading the Quran? Yeah. Okay, so how does that work then? You are? Only in the remembrance of God. Only in the remembrance of yeah, God? your heart find peace. Because some people are like, they're not really too sure like what's going to happen to them after they die. So you, you well, didn't, Muhammad didn't know where he was going when he was going to die, did he? That's why I know. Muhammad didn't know, but I'm sure like you don't well, record as well. Is, um, because some people, are, they're very anxious about what's going to happen to them after they die. Like what's going to happen. So if you believe in God, like you speak to that. If you believe in God, Knowing where you're gonna go. But so Muhammad didn't know. So how do you know? No, we know exactly where but Muhammad said that he didn't know where he was gonna go when he was gonna die. So how do you know? No, but it's, it is true. It is true, though. I, I'm just curious about how you think that reading the Quran brings peace, because God is holy, yes. And if God is holy, a man is not holy. Then how do you suppose that we have access to Him? Because our sin keeps us separated from God. So regardless, you might believe in God, but you're still going to sin against him. You're going to still lie. You're still going to have lust. You're still going to have pride. You're still going to have anger and jealousy and all these things in your heart. Do you still sin? And so, but Jesus, when he, Jesus saves you and changes you and gives you a new heart and puts his spirit inside of you, he, he, he completely transforms you from the inside out. You have a new nature. You don't want to sin against God. And the Holy Spirit within you sanctifies you and enables you to live godly. I'm not saying that you're completely sinless, but you stand before God in the righteousness of Jesus. He takes away your sin and imputes his perfect righteousness to you. That's how you get to heaven, through faith in Jesus Christ. Isaiah 9.6 says Jesus is the Prince of Peace. You can't have true peace without Jesus Christ. And you can only have peace with God when you're justified. The wrath of God abides on you because you're still very much dead in your sin. When Adam sinned against God, God said to him, the day you eat of that tree is the day you die. Adam sinned and died a spiritual death, and we in Adam, we die with him. But when you come to believe in Jesus Christ, he'll give you a new heart and put his spirit in you and bring you into relationship. It's not about religion. Religion is from man. Muhammad, the Pope, all of these men started all these religions. But God wants relationship. You don't need a Pope. You don't need Muhammad. You need Jesus Christ, who paid for your sin on the cross, was buried and raised on the third day. And when you believe that in your heart and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, that's when he'll save you. This is a lie. This is leading millions of people to hell. But Jesus Christ is God and he came in the flesh 2,000 years ago. He didn't cease to be God in heaven, but he created for himself a physical body so that he could suffer and die in our place because we owe God a sin debt and no one can pay that debt except God. See, they're preventing you from hearing the true gospel. They don't want you to be saved. You're not in a cult. You have freedom to be able to hear what I have you to know, say and then decide. Corinthians, ask her, ask her. You ask me. Who is her head? Who is her head? Jesus yeah? is my head. No, Jesus, Jesus is, is head. my head. Your husband is your head. Jesus is the head of, no, my ch it's the, head no, of the church. No, no. You see the lies? See, Jesus is the head of the church. You see the lies? It's not a lie. You see, I don't have a husband, therefore Jesus is the head. Jesus is the head of the church. Colossians 1.18, Jesus is the head of the church. Muhammad is going to lead you to hell. And what, and you think you're going to get 70 whores when you go to heaven? You, you think your God is going to give you 70 virgins? Servant God is going to give you 70 virgins. Do you notice how Muhammad had to appeal to your flesh? Muhammad had to appeal to your flesh and make out that lust is a Go sin. A Jesus said, if you look with Go lust, it is a, a sin. He said, marriage is between one man and one, one woman. And you lot think it's okay to take on yourself. more than one wife. You don't even treat your women with breathe. respect. Don't you don't even treat your women with respect. And what does it tell you in the Quran? It says that the angel and the Torah is God's words. And that God's will can't be changed. No, the gospel according to Jesus. What is the gospel? No, we worship Jesus Christ. You don't even know what the angel is. It tells the Christians in the Quran to look to the angel and you say, but because the angel doesn't align with the Quran, therefore it doesn't fit. But yet it, it tells you, it tells you, it tells you're deceiving people.
people. It tells you that the God's word can't be changed, proving that the Quran is false because you say that the Injil is not God's word because it doesn't line up with the Quran. So you you invalidate your you make your own book to be false because you say that it is God's word, that it isn't God's word, that God's word's been changed, but it tells you in Quran that it can't be changed. So which one is it? Because if it can't be changed, then the Injil that we have today, that the manuscripts that we have, that is older than Muhammad, still testifies today that the gospel, according to the gospels that we have, is God's word. It tells you this in the uh, Quran. And you say, no, 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 because it's been changed, it's been changed, but it tells you in Quran it can't be changed. So you prove the Quran to be false by your, by your theory. Your oh, I do know my scriptures. Yes, I do. What does 1 Corinthians say about you? Shouldn't you cover your hair? No, you your no, hair? my hair Shouldn't is my Paul, covering. So you have to rightly Paul, divide God's word. You have to you, rightly divide God's preaching. words. Are you preaching? Are you yeah. preaching now? Yeah. So shouldn't you have your head covered? Because no, you're no, because my hair is my covering. My hair what is my covering. This book I'm is false and it is leading you all to hell. It is leading you to hell. If you believe in the Quran, if you believe Muhammad, then you believe a liar, you believe a false prophet. Muhammad lied and he came and he made up stories. You have to do your homework. Muhammad married a six-year-old child and you have Muhammad married a six-year-old child. I'm not in a church. I'm not in a church. I'm not in a church. I'm not allowed to preach in the church. And I'm not in a church. I'm outside. This book is false. The Quran is false. The Quran says that the Injil is God's word and that God's word cannot be changed. But because this book doesn't line up with that, they say it's been changed. Proving the Quran to be false. Muhammad was hearing voices in his head. He claimed that Allah gave him divine revelation while he was in bed with a nine year old little girl. And you lot follow him. You're going to end up in hell. You are going to end up in hell. Rebecca was not three years old. Rebecca was not three years old because she wore a 10 camels. How could she be three years old? Have you ever seen a well? She wore to 10 camels. How could she? How could she? She wore to 10 camels. How could she be three years old? You come on sense. She wasn't three years old if she wore 10 camels. She wore 10 camels. So she wore 10 camels. The Bible does not say Rebecca was three years old. No, it does not. She wore 10 camels. She, a three-year-old can barely water themselves, let alone 10 camels. Have you seen a three-year-old little child? Muhammad was a liar and a false prophet that is deceiving you. This book is leading you to hell. You can't find peace except through Jesus Christ. Jesus is alive. He is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the whole world. And you need to put your complete faith and trust in him for the forgiveness of sin. Because if you perish in that sin, you'll burn in hell forever. And that's where Muhammad is. Muhammad is a false prophet and a liar. And my sincere prayer is for you to know the truth and be saved. Can I offer you the Gospel of John? You're going to be deceived. You're going to end up in hell. Why don't you do it over there? No, I'm doing it here. Because I don't want these people to be deceived. But we don't come to your stand. Well, I don't have a stand. So you could. You could. I would happily have a debate with you. I would have happily have a debate with you. I am not embarrassing myself. I am not embarrassing myself. If I am out of my mind, it is for God. Believe me, I stand on the truth of God's word. I want people to be saved. And if they follow this, they're not going to be. Well, I'm not invading their space. It is a public place. Yes, so making those claims and well, filming. it's the truth. It's the truth. So it's a public place. I can no, film. You know, you know it's a public place. I can. They have cameras. Look at that. They have. They. No, I. I have Jesus. I have Jesus. I have Jesus. Look, you're gonna wind up in hell. Muhammad was a pedophile and a false prophet. It, you know it is. I care about you. I don't want you to burn in hell. I don't want you to burn in hell. I can do whatever I want. It's a public place. Exactly. Me. Me included. Me included. Me included. Me included. Me included. So what? Would you like a gospel of John? Would you? Who would like one of these? Why didn't you take it to the people? No, I won't.
want you. I don't people. want you lot to be deceived. Look at all these people. I don't want you to be deceived. Mohammed was a pedophile and a false prophet. No, your God, Allah is a pagan moon god that married the sun goddess and oh, three daughters. They say that Allah can't have a son because he doesn't have a wife. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you the truth. I am commanded by Jesus to go into the world, preach the gospel and contend for the faith. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I do not want you being dragged to hell. Mohammed didn't know where he was going. Mohammed didn't know. Jesus is alive. He's God. He's saving people. When you put your trust in Jesus, he'll give you a new heart and put his spirit in you and bring you into relationship. That's what it's about. Do you want one of these? See? You have to study, study the Bible. Study the Bible. Then you see what? The Torah is God's word. In the, that's what the Quran says. But in the Torah, the women that covered their heads were seen as prostitutes. This is the thing Muhammad has deceived you. It tells you in Quran that the Torah is God's word. And in the Torah, in Genesis 38, the woman that covered her face and covered her head was a prostitute. That's the only reason people covered their faces in the Old Testament. So Muhammad has deceived you. Muhammad has deceived you. No, no, no. Jesus is God and he preaches the gospel of grace. Muhammad came 600 years after Jesus and claimed the voices in his head was talking it. And Moses testified of Jesus. Moses testified of Jesus. Moses testified of Jesus. I'm actually not getting paid nothing, but I know the truth. I have a relationship with Jesus. If you if you saw people just about on their way to hell, you'd stand there and do it. Do it. You would do it. I I can do what I want. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Because they're deceiving millions of people. Yes, I do know the Bible. I do know the Bible. I do know the Bible. And you know what? You're going to hell because of Muhammad. And you need to repent and believe in Jesus. Jesus is in God and he's coming back. Jesus is God and coming back. You have to believe in Jesus if you want salvation. Can I give you one more? You're Muslim. Well, you're going to burn in hell. You're going to burn in hell. You're going to burn in hell. Honestly, pride goes before a fall. Muhammad was a liar and a false prophet that is deceiving millions of people. I'm trying, no, nothing, nothing. I don't get paid for this, but I care so much about people that I don't want you to get burned in hell. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. God is my witness. No, I don't. 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 No, we do not tolerate that which is false. That is leading people to hell. And I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I don't want you to be sad. I don't want you to end up in hell. Why would you, do you have children? Do you have children? Well, if I had a daughter, would she six years old? Do you think a six year old daughter? But I didn't marry a six year old child. Do you think it's okay? As a mother. No, she was not. No, she was not. So where is that in the Bible? Jesus said a 12 year old was a child and the angel Gabriel. Jesus said that a 12 year old was a child and the angel Gabriel addressed Mary as a woman. So there you go. A wrong again. Wrong again. No, I don't think so. I don't want to burn in hell forever. Allah don't exist. He's a devil. Allah is a devil. Allah is a devil. Allah is the great deceiver. That's what it says in the Bible. The devil is the father of lies. Allah was a first century pagan moon god that married a sun goddess and had three daughters. They say that God can't have a son because he doesn't have a wife. Their religion is false. Their religion is false. It's deceiving millions of people. In the UK, 1971, Google it. Check. Seven year old, we're getting married here. It was legal for seven year old. Oh my goodness. You know what? We're not more righteous today than God was 1400 years ago. And Muhammad claimed that God was speaking to him while he was in bed with a nine year old little girl. And you used that as an excuse, but the God that created the universe would say that it was wrong today and he would say that it was wrong 1400 years ago when Muhammad was in bed with that little girl and that's who you 
face your faith on. Shame on you. Would you like a gospel, please? No. no. Do you believe in God? No. No? Atheist. You're, why are you atheist? Well, you know, it's religion is not of God. That is not a good religion. That's a bad religion. And the Catholicism and all of them, religion is not of God. I don't think any religion is better than the other, but... No, I agree. All religion is bad. But God wants relationship with us. Yeah. But because of our sin, we're separated from him. And so this is the reason why Jesus came. When you put your complete faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin, then Jesus will give you a new heart, put his spirit in you and bring you into relationship. Trust me, Jesus is God. Religion is not of God. When you cry out to Jesus, please take one. When you cry out to Jesus, then he will save you and bring you into relationship. It's about coming to that realization that we're sinners, that we're separated from God because of sin. And that our religion can't save us. Muhammad was a liar and a pedophile and a false prophet. That is just the worst religion. And I'm not being, you know, horrible. I, that and Catholicism, both of them are bad. You know, but so is the Mormon church and Jehovah Witness cult. They're all bad. But it's deceiving millions of people. And when you care about people, you want to tell them the truth. I know Jesus. I have a relationship with Jesus. He saved my soul from hell. And I pray that you too will come to find him and come to know him. All right. God bless. Honestly, unless you repent and believe in Jesus, you're going to burn in hell.